Well, this is a little uh, demo of my Soxlet extractor. I finally got set up. I just started. It just started getting hot enough to start the process. You can see my materials getting a little wetted from the condensate that's falling down in through there. Not boiling very vigorously. I'm going to have to do something about a better heat source. Just have this old hot plate or electric skillet I've pressed into service here and it doesn't couple the heat very well into the flask so that's the problem I believe at any rate you can see there's the extractor body and the condenser body I have my old standby ice cream maker to use as my water reservoir that's set on a timer see the timer back there set to be a 50% duty cycle so it's on a half hour, then off a half hour. Maybe keep the water from getting too frozen. The electric, electric skillet just came on. And as I say, I wish I could get a little bit more heat in there, get a little more vigorous boiling, and it would certainly work faster. But uh, that's the beginning. See, there's a little bubble activity in there. That's kind of interesting to watch. But uh, I'll keep doing videos at a every hour or two or three or four or something like that see how it goes okay I ran it for a while with that um, electric skillet and it didn't work very well at all so I got out my new crock pot which has a high setting and put some boiling water down and all that to get it uh, up to temperature and now I'm letting it run so you can see we're not dripping very much at all right now so I just got it set back up I was able to get a drip rate of about one every seven or seconds or so with the uh, electric skillet I'm hoping for a better drip rate here with my uh, cold finger extractor I had uh, about a two second drip rate at the best that it was operating that so that's pretty good so far that means it's operating better actually than this uh, Soxlet extractor but I just need to pump more heat into the bottom and hopefully this crock pot will do it and I'll check back in later I'll just crash on the couch here and uh, come check it periodically This is my final setup here. I had to run to town and, and go to big Wally World and settle for a double burner. I wanted a single burner hot plate, but all they had was double. Seems to be working fine, just takes up a lot more room. I'm not even using the, the high side, I'm using the low side. And as you can see, the level is getting higher there, and you see the drip rates going on pretty well. There's my condenser stack. And there's the old ice maker, ice machine rather. I put a soda in there to get it nice and cold. It works really well for that. But uh, it's getting ready to go. It's getting higher up here, the level. You see that indicates how much fluid is in it, liquid and the green has decreased in intensity so I think it's uh, this is about the third or fourth dump I think it's done but now uh, it'll dump sooner I think I can cycle it about every half hour or so and uh, get a real good extraction I'll uh, pause here and wait till it comes back closer to dumping and you can see it's filling up with uh, clear liquid there in the extraction chamber pretty fast drip rate pretty good boiling rate I didn't decarboxylate this so it may not be as potent I'm gonna the next batch now that I have the extractor working I can do another batch and decarboxylate it first how much better that works but one step at a time closer and closer we get 
and you can see the clear fluid, the clear liquid built up in there. Pretty, pretty high level. It's getting ready. Getting ready. Pretty close. Once it goes over the level of that siphon tube, it should siphon out. It might be clogged. There might be something clogged in that tube. It certainly should have dumped by now. Here we go. Here we go, just about. There we go. Now everything has cooled off because the new fluid, new liquid coming in is cooler. So the boiling rate slowed down. So the fill rate, the drip rate slows down. You can see that the fluid, the liquid is pretty clear, uh, more transparent than it was on the previous cycles. and we start all over again. Okay, now you can see that my solvent is coming back pretty much clear in the siphon tube, which means that everything has been extracted as far as I'm concerned, and this is going to be the last flush. Then I'll clean it out and start a new batch, and we'll just see how this, this here works. I've kept nearly all my alcohol, except for what's in that what's in that right there. You know, it's obviously soaked with alcohol, but I'll squeeze that out and get as much out as I can. And um, I'm having trouble breaking siphon when the thing starts siphoning, and I think that's because I have too much restriction in that cotton wadding. I didn't have any cotton balls. I used wadding instead and cut up a, a, a diaper and used that, but I think there's too much restriction there, so it's, it's causing it to not break suction resulting in a drip 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 so it's just just circulating through it's not flooding and draining like it should so when I reload it I'll use the cotton balls instead I now have them but you'll see that the, the liquid is pretty much clear looking pretty good
getting close again. You know, it's all those air bubbles in there give it difficulty getting started, but the drip rate has to be higher than the um, natural migration through the siphon. Once it gets to the bend, it has to be the drip rate has to overcome it. So we have to have more drips up here than what's draining out through that little first little leak in the siphon. And once it starts, of course, it just sucks it all dry. close. Trying to capture that magical moment here. Okay, the drips are trying to overcome the inertia and the natural draining of the fluid to get it started, get the siphon started, and there she goes. Now you can see it hasn't broken the siphon. It has all those air bubbles, but there's fluid, there's continuity of the fluid. So what's going to happen is it'll just keep dribbling down into the bottom, out that discharge tube, until I cool it off and stop that process, and then let it siphon. So I'm going to shut it down for right now and start another batch. Okay, this is my second batch through the sock slip extractor. I put uh, 30 grams in there, or 32 grams I think it was, anyway. Um, you can see it's working much better now with this new setup, with the new, uh, with the new uh, uh, heat source. You see I've got clear alcohol, well it's kind of clear, it was only a little green from what was in it before. Uh, and it's going to town now. How did I get that material? Oh, I got some material in the tube, I see. Whoops. Make a little bit of a dirty batch, I'll have to filter it. At any rate, I'll check back again. Okay, for this run, I change things around. I got uh, ice water in an ice chest instead of my uh, ice cream maker. I think it quit. At least it was getting a heavy strain from all the current I'm drawing and all the heat I'm generating right here. So I removed that. This should be, uh, this ice chest should be a big enough reservoir to do an entire batch. Um, and I also, um, instead of the cotton, it seemed to be keeping the suction from breaking on the siphon tube. I made uh, some little coffee filter packets. They're about 10 grams a piece. And I just uh, folded them up like a bindle and stapled them together with uh, coffee filter material, and hopefully that'll work better. We'll see. Uh, but at any rate, you can see that the uh, you can see that the siphon uh, isn't blocked there, so it should have a good, easy draw to pull everything down and break the siphon and, and give me a better uh, fill and drain uh, function. And my water reservoir is a little higher because uh, the pump is at a different height. You can pump better. So all in all, it looks like uh, we're ready to make another successful run here. Haven't come up to boiling yet. We've got clean alcohol for the beginning. And um, I'll come back and check on it in just a little bit. We'll see how it does.
Let's see if it breaks suction this time. Yep. Beautiful. It's getting ready for another run. It's almost there. It's almost there. See the dark, dark green in the bottom from the soaking. Because it soaks in warm solvent until it just tips the balance and then it dumps. Getting ready. boil down pretty far in the bottom. This is decarbed. I decarboxylated this before I started. It's a different variety. It's a banana kush. There we go. See if it breaks suction. And it did. Very good.